Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this DIY tutorial, I am gonna show you how I made this white beaded bridal wristlet. This has a pattern both visually and texturally. If you look at it from the side, it kind of looks like it has a crack, but that's just the line of the chalk white Swarovski crystals going through. It's so pretty in person, I love this. So I'm going to turn off the light so that you can see what it looks like with the natural light. This is the bag in the natural light. And it's kind of one of those things where the closer that you get to it, the more detail you see and the prettier that it looks. I really, really like this and it's one of my favorite wristlets that I've done. So if you like how this looks, stay tuned and I'll show you what I used. For this project, I used E6000 glue and a plain white wristlet. I used half back beads in 8mm, 7mm, 5mm, 4mm, and 3mm. I also used chalk white Swarovski crystals in sizes 16SS and 10SS, and these are hot big stones. My first step is to begin beading the bag. This is the progress of the beading so far. As you can see, I added a little bit here and a little bit here. And then along the back, I added a nice amount. I'm going to add a couple more beads, but then I'm going to start adding the crystals. So the next time I check in, I will have some crystals added and you'll get to see uh, how I started creating the pattern. This is what the wristlet looks like with the crystals added. I added some up here and some down here and hopefully you can see the whole view so now i'm going to add the beading on the other side and if you look closely you can see that the crystals aren't super super close because they had to be added with a hot fix tool but once i add the beading i don't think that will be very noticeable so i'm going to keep going and show you my progress this is a little bit more progress on the bag. I have added beads on either side of the Swarovski crystals. And then on this side, I haven't done anything yet, but I just wanted to do a quick check-in. So I'm gonna keep going and I'll just check in periodically to show you the progress. This is more progress. I love how this is turning out and I'm so glad that you can really see how the chalk white Swarovski crystals add that bit of design to the bag. So basically what I did was I just kind of continued this trail of the Swarovski crystals all the way around the bag. I'm going to try to make sure that all the lines connect. And in the front I really haven't done a lot, I just added this little bit, so I'm going to keep going and check in in a little bit just to show you some more progress. And then I wanted to show you what this looks like in the natural light. The difference between the halfback beads and the Swarovski crystals is really subtle, but I think it just adds a depth to the look that just makes it just really pretty. And the Swarovski crystals if you look carefully, sparkle in a way that the pearls don't. So I just wanted to show you that contrast. This is more progress. I'm almost completely done with the back. I just need to fill in this part right here. And this is the front. I am slowly but surely filling in this part. And even though I didn't have a defined pattern. I like how the pattern's turning out. It looks really, really good. I just have to decide if I want to leave this coach logo or not. And I'm not leaving it because it says coach. I'm leaving it because the zipper is gold and I'm not sure if I want to completely cover up any gold like details on the bag. But other than that, I really, really love this and I will show you the final result. This is the final result. I love how this turned out. I think it's so pretty. I decided to leave the Coach logo just because it kind of matched with the gold in the zipper. This is the front of it. This is the back and I just love it. I think it's so beautiful and I highly recommend that you try this. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really great week and I will see you next time.
I just wanted to show the chalk white Swarovski crystals in natural light and how pretty they are and the way that they reflect light. And this is what they look like not surrounded by the beading. So if you're thinking about using them, this is a really good choice on a white background because they're just so pretty. And hopefully you can see that reflection of the light. <laughs> 